Hello. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm enjoying seeing this. My very favorite deception model on the arms of Jack's cosmetics. Please tell me you're not thinking about stealing her away. <laughs> well, you know my reputation. I steal everything that's not nailed down. <laughs> Nobody steals me without my say-so. I simply dropped by to find out what my current status is here at Deception, since it's been quite a while. Well, I we... know that, and I am so excited and happy that you're here. I mean, isn't it amazing? I, I just... This moment thought I should call you and let you know about a fabulous new campaign I've just come up with. Right, what is it? I can't tell you that. I mean, I don't think you want me to tell in front of this competition here, do you? I mean, he's liable to steal it, all my ideas, and you, and just go. <laughs> well, as tempting as it may be, if your face of deception is happy as such, I wouldn't dream of making waves. Oh, that's right. It would be so unlike you to interfere in an existing relationship. Uh, am I missing something here? Inside joke. Oh, I see. So you two have already gotten to that point. Jax is a last minute. Look at the two of you. Oh, darn. You're just so adorable together, you know? It is a shame that you are not a real model because I can picture this very terrific layout with just the two of you, kind of a duo thing. Hmm. What are you talking about? Well, Mr... Jack's cosmetics there. He showed up here and that sly dog, he let me think that he was actually a real model while he spent time sizing up the competition and sneaking around to set... Well, of course, Jack's cosmetics isn't really in competition. I mean, we don't go after the same market. Deception is strictly into, um, fragrances and bath products, and we've never really gotten into a makeup line like you have. Oh, so far. Perhaps you'll uh, explore that sometime. Oh, no. Heavens, no. I wouldn't dream of that, because that would mean we might end up adversaries, and I would truly hate that. Well, it doesn't mean we still can't be friends. Well, then again, if we got together, we'd have the best of all possible worlds. In other words, if you can't beat them, join them. Well, now, seriously, if... Two companies such as ours were to join together, you know, we could be an incredible single force on the market. <sighs> Actually, to be honest, I have thought from time to time, you know, about expanding deception. I always worry it might be a little bit too ambitious, you know. Sometimes I just have to rein myself in. I'm such an incredible visionary. <sighs> but then again, uh, if the other company were already well established and there... Yeah. Exactly. See? Then the merger would be pure simplicity. I mean, a merger would mean just basic expansion. It would all be practically poetry. That's an intriguing idea. Never occurred to me. Then again, mergers have been known to ruin happy companies out of sheer incompatibility. Oh, no, no, not at all. If those companies were both flexible and willing to give and take. You know, listen to me. I guess you can tell I do hang out with a psychiatrist an awful lot. Of course, you know, I don't know if I really want deception to change. I mean, it is exactly just the way I made it. Well, I can't blame you. Of course, uh, any merger would have to involve ELQ, wouldn't it? It's my understanding you don't actually own deception, correct? Well, yeah. Actually, technically, that's absolutely right. But you know, that doesn't really matter because spiritually, I am deception. I mean, I'm in charge of it. I run it. I make it all the day-to-day -day decisions. I mean, deception is me. So, obviously, if we were to pursue this, you'd have to be dealing with just me. Which would certainly be a pleasure. 